Hey guys, it's Jab. In this video, I want to start showing off one of my collection journeys, which is collecting a master set of every modern Pokemon set, along with the sealed booster box. So there's the box. Not in too bad condition, but anyway, we have the full master set with every single variant. I think there's like 30 or something. I didn't count, but let's get into it. So we have the green cards, Cell BV. I'll try to go through it somewhat quickly because most of the good stuff is in the back of the binder. I put them in order by number and we also have every reverse hollow and non hollow double stacked. I might transfer these into a different binder eventually because I don't really like having the cards double stack like this. But yeah, I also double sleeve every single card so we have a perfect fit and a penny sleeve this is probably more protection for cards than most people do because usually people don't care about the non hollows but the goal with this is to have everything in pristine condition so eventually one day it will be worth some money i don't plan on selling these sets for a very long time but maybe down the road we'll see who knows what happens got to be prepared for anything yeah, just look through the cards here. Got the Torkoal V, Victini V, Salazzle. Got the. There's two Score Bunnies, two Raboots, three Cinder Aces. They did that for every one of the Sword Shield starters, so that's pretty cool. You got a lot of different artworks to choose from there. Cinder is one of my favorite Pokemon from Sword and Shield generation. All right, there we go, starting with the first VMAX, the Lapras VMAX. That Lapras art also is really kind of wild looking with its face there. Got the Keldeo V, moving into the Sobble starter evolution line. You get the Hollow, and then you get the that Reverse. So you get a Hollow and a Reverse, and then the other one has only re the Reverse and the non-Hollow, I believe. Yep. There's also variants of these as well, that which we'll get to at the end of the video, so stay tuned. The good part is last, so I'm going to make you guys wait. Um, if you enjoy these kind of full set collection master set videos, smash the like button, and I'll start making them for my other sets too. I'm doing a Rebel Clash, Darkness Ablaze, Champion's Path sets. We're just collecting one copy of every single card that releases, because why not? It's fun to do. Um, I never really did this before Sword Shield started. I never put together master sets or anything, but I've been really enjoying the process. These are some of my favorite arts from Sword and Shield, because they kind of line up. You see the Hitmonchan in the background there, the Hitmonlead there. I was actually selling these... Um, my extras is two card sets, and those are pretty popular. Just get both cards together like that. Got the Regirock V. Yep. Stone Joiner, Stone Joiner V Max. Another pretty cool Pokemon. I, I really like a lot of the Sword Shield Pokemon designs, to be honest. And I'm someone that doesn't really like. Most Pokemon outside the first three generations, I would say. Sableye. We got here Galarian Meowth. Moving on to the Zacian and Zamazenta, normal ultra rare versions. We'll show the, the full arts and golds later. Snorlax V Max, such an amazing design. Whoever came up with that. Just so sweet, especially when you use it in the video games. These arts are really adorable. Wait, who's the artist on that? I think, um, Sao Sao, So So, I don't know. I don't know how you say that, but I really like the artist. I kind of want to do, like, a binder set of all their card arts. I don't think they have a lot of them yet, though. They're a fairly newer artist. Got the Kramer V, and then moving into the Trainers. I won't spend a whole lot of time on those. We're starting to get to the good. 
Alright, now we're moving into the full arts. We got the Delmise V. Pretty sweet full arts. I really like the sword shield artworks, to be honest. I think they've really ramped it up. Really nice silver borders on those cards as well. Or, I mean, it's kind of like grayish, I guess. Slapper's V full art. And then... More Pekko, Wobbuffet, Ndidi, Stone Jorner. Like, look at these colors, they just pop. Exhaustion V Full Art's pretty sweet. I, I like the normal Full Art's better than the Rainbow slash Hyper Rares, whatever you want to call them. I feel like the Rainbow Rares are just really overdone at this point. They've been doing it since Sun and Moon. I think they need to move past Rainbow Rares. I don't know, maybe it's... I'm not the target market for them, and kids like them a lot or something. Who knows? Okay, I got that Snorlax. He's running. Cream Marine V Full Art. I got the Bead. The Marnie. Professor's Research. Both very playable cards. But I don't really play too much. I mostly just collect. I'm moving on to the Hyper Rears. have every single one of them. Lapras V Max. More Petko, Stone Joiner. This one of my favorites, of course. We discussed the Snorlax V Max earlier. Got the bead. Flipping the page here. Ooh, here's the juicy stuff. Hyper Rare Marnie. Hyper Rare Professor's Research. Gold Zacian. I actually pulled this one. This was one of the last cards I needed. And when I was opening the Sword Shield and Darkness of Blaze bonus packs on one of my live streams, I actually pulled it. So that was really hype. And yeah, there we go. These cards are beautiful. There's all the gold trainers. And then moving into the variants, which I'm also collecting every single one of. These are 10 hollows. See? And then these ones actually have a different hollow foil pattern on them. They have more of the Cosmos style hollow with the little bubbles. So those are pretty sweet. And then moving down here, we have the non hollow theme deck Galarian Obstagoon. And then you have the EU exclusive stamped Cosmos hollow. So that's a really unique card there. Kind of difficult to get in US. You gotta have someone ship it to you from Europe. Then you get the non-hollow Marnie. And then moving on to the, the League promo Rillaboom, the theme deck Rillaboom, and the Shattered Ice Rillaboom. And then same for the Intellion. League, theme deck, Shattered Ice. Unfortunately, the Cinderace does not have a theme deck version, so we can't do the full the full page of those. We do have the um, leak promo, the Shattered Ice. I really like the sh Shattered Ice Hollow variants, to be honest. And then this one is actually really dumb. Like, it's a GameStop exclusive promo, but it's literally just a non hollow version of the hollow that's in the set. And it was shipped, um, or they were given out sealed. I just cracked out of the seal, but yeah. I don't know why they couldn't have put like a stamp on it or something. I don't know, maybe they're time crunched. But yeah, these ones are pretty cool. We have the Frostmoth first, second, third, and fourth place stamp. Got the full set of those. We got the League Cup Quick Ball and then the Staff Quick Ball. These Staff promos are actually kind of expensive. Those were the the two very last variants that I ended up purchasing. I was kind of waiting for the price to go down a little bit. Yep, non hollow professor's research. The championships professor's research and the staff championships. So, yep, I'm happy to finally have this set entirely complete with every single variant. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see me um, make more master set videos like this one just leave a comment below and 
tell me that, and yeah, thanks for watching. I really enjoy doing this. Um, it's nice to finally be able to flesh out complete sets. I still do collect the vintage stuff. I have my graded card collection, which has actually massively um, risen in value recently. As you guys know, the market's gone crazy with the Logan Paul stuff. And yeah, I'm going to be showing some of my collection editions off soon as well for that older vintage stuff, which a lot of you guys probably enjoy more than modern, but modern is pretty hype these days as well, and I see a lot of people getting into it that weren't into it previously. But yep, thanks for watching, and see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.